bodies are made up of billions of cells. Inside each cell is our genetic material. Chromosomes are the packaging of our genetic material. We usually have 23 pairs of chromosomes and we inherit one copy from our mother and one from our father. If we unwind a chromosome, we can identify genes. Genes are the basic building blocks that make proteins. Genes are like the blueprint to make a machine and proteins are like the individual components of that machine. Proteins make us who we are and help us grow and function properly. Our genetic material is made up of DNA. Deoxyribose nucleic acid is the very long chains of four chemical letters. Adenine, guanine, thymine and cytosine that combine to make our genetic code. We all have small variations in our genetic code. Gene variations are like spelling errors, where for example, there is a T instead of a C. A variation in a gene that makes it faulty or not working properly is called a mutation. Faulty genes occur commonly simply through chance. They have to occur in one individual for the first time at some stage. They are not related to anything a parent could have caused or prevented in any way. They occur because the process that replicates and divides our genes so we can pass them on to the next generation is complex and mistakes occur. For each gene, we have two copies. One copy comes from our mother and the other copy comes from our father. In an autosomal recessive condition, an individual needs both copies of the gene to be faulty for a condition to develop. The parents of the child usually carry only one faulty gene of the gene pair. They are healthy carriers. It is estimated that every individual is a healthy carrier of several faulty genes, but a recessive condition occurs only when both individuals in a couple happen to carry the same faulty gene. When healthy carriers have children, there are three possible outcomes. One, the child inherits both faulty gene copies and has the condition. Two, the child inherits only one faulty gene copy and is a healthy carrier, like his, her parents. Three, the child inherits both working copies of the gene. So each time healthy carriers have children, there is a one in four, 25% chance that their child could inherit both faulty gene copies and develop the condition. When an individual with a recessive condition has children, their children will usually all be healthy carriers of the condition. Their children could develop the condition if their partner happens to be a carrier of a faulty gene, but this would be a rare occurrence. Brothers and sisters of a healthy carrier could also be healthy carriers themselves.